Do you guys remember what I said? I think that the Canon 70D from 2013 and the Sony A6000 from 2014 are more reliable on autofocus than this Fujifilm camera. Let's see if I was right. <laughs> Look what I got. And I also bought this Fujifilm 33mm LMWR linear motor lens. So I bought the A6000, very cheap camera for $200. And I bought the Fujifilm 33mm LMWR for $1000. Why? Because they don't fit. So I can compare a 10 year old camera, Sony A6000 with the Fujifilm X-H2S in video autofocus. This is a stupid test. Who is this idiot who wants to compare a 10 year old Sony with the latest Fujifilm technology? <laughs> we'll see. And I will not make it fair either. On the Sony I will use a cheap Chinese lens. You are watching it, Viltrox 33mm, which I love by the way. And on the Fuji I will use the best of the best 33mm LMWR. Ooh, that sounded like good autofocus. This was my setup for the test. I made the DIY mount so the cameras are next to each other and have the same field of view. But on the Fuji, I kept the subject in the middle of the frame most of the time. On the Sony, a little to the left, a little to the right. So one more advantage for Fuji. Before we start watching the tests, which one of those clips do you think was filmed with a linear motor lens and which one with a stepper motor lens? Tell me in the comments which one do you think is the linear motor lens, A or B? I will reveal it at the end. Let's see the results. Both camera was set to the fastest autofocus settings. So this is me coming towards the camera. Fujifilm hunts. It struggles, it hunts. Horrendous. This is an unusable shot. Next, me coming towards the camera, and now check this out. What is this? Look, 2024 Fujifilm autofocus technology. This is horrendous. Do you want a shot like this? You want to get closer to your subject. You can't do that on a Fuji. Your shot will be ruined. Let's watch. And check this out. Coming towards my model and loses its hunt. It catches the eye. Going back, Fujifilm going haywire. In this shot, Sony struggles a bit but comes back. Now getting closer. I don't know what Fujifilm is doing but I just, I just don't know. Next shot, a pirouette, face eye on, and bam. And now the Sony struggles a bit, but it catches it. And now look at the Fuji, haywire. Next test, a dynamic shot. What are you doing, Fuji? Coming back, hunting, pulsing. Another shot. Oh. Going. It catches her when she is static and then loses her without any reason. Look at this. It lost her without any reason. Next shot, same style, and without any reason, her face is blurry. Her face is tone. Sony is okay. On the Fuji, face is tone. She is tone. Multi face eye off. 
let's see it oh 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 okay it got it look at those steps man those steps are horrendous look at this oh, oh my again a gimbal shot kind of going back and Fuji this is the Achilles heels for Fuji going backwards from your subject Okay, now, and I don't know what happened, it just lost her. This is multi face eye off. Sometimes it just won't focus, it refuses to focus. Look at here. This is multi. I had to go in the shot for the camera to focus. And this is just horrendous. Look at this hunting. This is area. That small area. It works a bit better, but you're limited to that area. And sometimes it won't focus in the area too. It just refuses to focus. This is multi. It refuses to focus and this is the last test a period lost her a bit now okay and just going haywire okay what do you think is this good autofocus has fujifilm caught up with the competition don't get me wrong the a6000 misses too sometimes but it will gracefully catch up your subject again Sometimes you won't even notice it or even be bothered by it. But on the Fuji, oh, you will notice it. The erratic hunting. And it will ruin your shot. So what's the answer to the question from the beginning of the video? I guess you know by now. The answer is B. B is the linear motor. So a linear motor lens on Fujifilm X-H2S focuses in steps. And a stepper motor on the Sony focuses in a linear motion. That's why I hate when people are saying, Oh, you need the latest Fujifilm lenses, LMWR lenses, if you want good autofocus. You don't know what you're talking about. This is Fuji 33mm LMWR. And this is the Viltrox 33mm for Fujifilm, STM lens. Do you see any difference? Actually, the Viltrox did a little bit better. The Fuji 33 LMWR is actually faster. Faster at hunting. Hunts more than the Viltrox lens. I said that the A6000 is more reliable. Actually, that's not true. The A6000 is reliable. The X-H2S is not reliable at all. On the X-H2S, it's like gambling. You press record and you don't know how the shot will turn out, even if your subject is stationary. Just don't ask me how it compares with my Sony A6700. Just don't ask. So when you see reviewers on YouTube that are telling you that Fujifilm has caught up with the competition in terms of autofocus, send them this video. It has not caught up with the competition. It is far behind, more than 10 years behind because this cheap plastic camera was released 10 years ago. And you can clearly see how good it is in comparison with the X-H2S. So for those who are denying that Fujifilm has the worst autofocus on the market, and for those who say that it has caught up with the Sony, I can only do this.